Hello and welcome back to another Rome Remastered video. And in today's video we are playing the Greek Cities campaign. So, let's begin. The Greeks could rule the world. Alexander did. He took a Greek army to the Far Indus. There was nothing left to conquer. The world was his. But Alexander is dead. His empire is gone. And so we live in evil days. The three men of Greece have turned on each other instead of their proper enemies. Those who envy all that Greeks have done. Alexander must weep if the dead weep. I would weep in his place, but I would also hope. The world turns. What was may come again. The fates still spin the web of men's lives. So now, perhaps the gods wish Greeks to be great again. Perhaps a new Alexander will take up the sword. Bring order where there is chaos. Remake the world of men to a better plan. Perhaps. And that is just what we will do. We will rebuild Alexander's great empire once more. So I personally have a much slower approach, at least initially, to the Greeks when playing their campaign. I focus more on building a strong economy and military before moving out and attacking nearby neighbors. So as you can see, that's what I'm going to focus on first. Uh, I'm going to build military-related stuff in Sparta and Syracuse because that's where we will probably be dealing with the most combat, at least initially. In Sparta we will have to deal with the Macedonians, while in Syracuse we have the Romans there and the Carthaginians, if they choose to fight us. So what we're going to do is have the other settlements be more on gaining a lot of money for us, while these two just produce a big and strong military. And the whole time we have to be recruiting soldiers, because we could be attacked at any moment, and we need to have an army ready to fight back. Because at the start, the Greeks are extremely weak. They are... <laughs> easily defeatable. These normal hoplite units, they will crumble in battle. I've seen Hastati units easily destroy two or three of these head-on. It's not a fun experience when you're playing as the Greeks and you're just starting off. So that's why I prefer to go slower at the start, just to build up that power so that when we do finally go and fight everybody, we can actually destroy them and do damage instead of take damage. So I'm going to move out towards the Carthaginians just to try and reach some sort of trade agreement just to improve our economy. Uh, the other settlements will just be working on military and defense. Greetings. Our thanks. Uh, sure, we'll do trade just to improve the economy. As you see, went up by 100 denarii per turn, which is always nice. A most generous proposal. They accepted. It's now up by another 200. And I'm just waiting for the Scipii to attack. If they don't attack by the time we have a powerful military, then first of all, that was a big mistake on their part. Second of all, we'll march out and meet them on the field of battle. I'm going to start moving the fleet closer to Sparta so that the army in Sparta could be sent towards Syracuse and the Romans if needed. Greetings. Until next time. I'm going to decline. Oh, there we go. They declared war. Okay, I didn't expect them to do it that fast. <laughs> I thought they'd wait another few turns, but that's fine. That is perfectly fine. And as you can see, they have four Hastati units, and although it seems like we have a lot of units they would easily destroy us in a head-on battle. I'm just going to do this for organization purposes. Just so we have a real view of how many of what soldiers we have. Uh, 
lagi ya So what I'm gonna do is actually send the spy north to try and see what we can see behind the Macedonian lines. Uh, this fleet, we're gonna move them closer because this army is gonna have to go very, very soon. If things take a wrong turn for us. Now, seeing as how the broody I have taken a nearby settlement, just based on the border colors, we're gonna have to start building a military there as well to counter them because Sparta is currently blocked off by the by our neighbors of Macedon. Oh, hello there. Perfect. Oh, and Mets. Oh, everybody's declaring war. See, every campaign is different. One campaign, you'll have all of them trying to befriend you, and even the Romans will break their. Well, they won't listen to the Senate just to stay friends with you. And then other times it's like this one where everybody declares war on you very quickly. And you just have to be ready to react to all of that. So no matter what you're doing, you always have to have a strong and powerful army on standby. Luckily for us, we had just that waiting here for us. We're gonna march out, fight these guys, besiege their settlement, Let's see what we can do to them. We can't hold out against that, so I'm going to cancel any building there because we might lose that settlement temporarily. We will have to just send an army to regain it. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait because there's no... We're gonna have to break through Macedon to get there first. Alright. We can... We can occupy the settlement. We don't have to do exterminate since these are Greeks, so there will be no culture penalty. They don't have good barracks yet. Okay then. Worried about these armies here. Because I need to head towards Athens, Larissa, and to aid my own soldiers, but then again I also have to defend my land. See, this shows you how powerful Hastati units are. Look how much we have, how much they have, and yet it's pretty much an equal fight. So I'm gonna have to go in and win this manually. And I already see those two Scipii armies moving towards Syracuse. So we're gonna have to be ready to counter that as soon as possible. This is somewhat worrying seeing how so many factions have already declared war on us and we're gonna have to deal with all of that at the same time. But I think we can handle it. We have the Greek power. Alright, let's fast forward. Get to the actual action here. Alright, if we can keep the enemy forces separated, that would be ideal. Alright, we gotta go in right away. They're gonna start throwing at us. Just pure numbers, just, just push through them. And see, we're already falling. We already lost four men and we haven't even started really fighting. Alright, I'm gonna run in. Oh, there are cavalry's here. Alright, we're gonna have to do flanking if we are to have any chance. Alright, 
if we are to have any hope of winning this battle. Alright, let's move in. And have this unit block off reinforcements. Oh, we are crumbling. Wow, they are just... destroying us. This is why you need to get those better units as soon as possible. Otherwise, this is exactly what will happen. You will take heavy casualties to a small and relatively weak force. We should not be having such a hard time dealing with these guys. But of course, we win either way. There we go. Let's not waste any time getting back to the campaign map so we can further our conquest. So normally what I would do is, if Macedon hadn't declared war on us, I'd send a large fleet over to go out and conquer the Roman settlements. But seeing as this is the current situation we're in, I don't know how we're going to fully do that. Because we need our army over here. Alright, our economy is very strong, so we can support building troops in a lot of places. And that is exactly what we will be doing. Yeah. I'm just going to build this unit here as, as a sort of garrison so the main force can continue moving forward. I don't really have a un use for that unit by itself. Okay, they're probably somewhere on this island. Hmm. They're not on the ship. Alright, we have to be careful. Those Romans are could be anywhere. We're going to continue attacking, not wasting any time with that. I'm keeping the tax rate high so we can continue doing, doing our stuff while maintaining a strong economy. Alright, they're going to attack, yes they are. This doesn't seem like a winnable battle. We won? I don't know if I would have won that by myself. It would take a lot of effort to do that. I'm personally very bad at using skirmisher units. No way. We pushed them back. I'm hiring a load of these guys now. Wow. We pushed them back. That's amazing. I honestly thought we were going to lose that settlement and have to spend a load of time regaining it and fighting over it. This is great. Alright, the ships are just going to move straight over to... Misana, and then we'll sail over to Capua. Mm. Okay. What can we do? What can we do? Relatively small and weak force. Right. First, we're going to take this spot. We're going to occupy it. And then we're going to march out of Sparta and assist in Corinth. 
No, we need military everywhere. It doesn't matter about money now. Although building such a powerful military everywhere will put a big strain on us. I think we can handle it. I've got to be careful. Where are those ro- oh, there they are. Alright, we're gonna mount an assault on their homeland while they're gone. Alright. Yeah, we're gonna show them what we've got. They messed around with us? Well, that was a mistake. There we go. I don't really want to go chasing after that army. I don't want to risk the odds of us losing. That army's back. That's fine. Ships ready. Let's sail for death. Yes. All right, let's land immediately so we don't have to risk them getting killed. And then we're going to take over these two broody eye settlements and then build up a stronger army, finish off the Scipii, take Rome, and move on to the Julii. Seems like a good plan. All right, now just to build everything. I need the military, I'm not building roads anymore. Wow, the economy is really, really suffering this, but it'll be fine. As soon as we continue taking more and more of these Roman settlements, it'll be a big boost. It'll be very noticeable. I think they killed off the Romans. Oh no, they're still around. That's fine. Yeah, but the upkeep for these units is very expensive. It's amazing how we're able to already hold so many soldiers. But I still want to take this island settlement, as was my original plan here. Leave one behind. And then we'll add in you. The only reason I'm doing this is because I see that army and I want to go protect our faction leader. And as you can see, these new units are really the elites. They are doing just fine here. I honestly think this army could hold against what's coming. There we go. We need the best units. I'm not I'm fine with spending a bit less on the economy and other stuff if we can improve the military through which we can improve the economy by taking all these settlements. Uh, let's move on. I'll fight this because... I have a bad experience with auto-resolve, even though it looks like we have more than 50-50 odds. I don't trust a relatively small force against two Hestati units. The reason for this mistrust is 
I have lost a lot of major battles in campaigns because I thought I didn't want to win fight the battle myself, so I let the AI do it and I heavily regretted it. So we're not going to make that mistake here in a big campaign. We'll just spend two minutes, quickly move in, do what we need to, and get out. Alright, let's move in, take that out. Had enough of them shooting at us. Actually, we gotta move in to take out them from here. See how brave you are when you see us up close. Alright, we're gonna keep the general out of this. Don't need to get him killed. Crush him, crush him, there you go. Assist them. Crush them. Perfect. Alright, let's head towards the center. Alright, let's take them out. Alright, this should be relatively easy. It's just cavalry versus big spears. There we go. I'm going to do this to spread out the units a bit. Uh, spread out the men within each unit so that we can encircle the enemy and do more damage. Get this unit out of there. Get rid of these guys annoying us. And finish them off. And victory is ours. Terminate, retrain, and we're gonna try and blitzkrieg through, and by that we're going to, within one or two turns, move on and head for the next settlement, to not give the enemy time to build up a military themselves. I also don't trust the Carthaginians, so I'm going to continue building a powerful military there, even though the Roman presence is pretty much eliminated. Alright, we gotta take out this army, because they could threaten Athens. I should probably refocus on the economy. No, we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be just fine. I'll just send a few more soldiers over. The sort of relief force. So we don't have to build any big garrisons or stuff like that. That's why I want to get in and off, on and off the boats within one turn. When possible. Oh no, our faction leader died. Alright, we'll do that. Do that. And just like that, we are already hurting the enemy nearby. I think we could handle this. There's no way we're going to lose to this. It would be an embarrassment to lose to this army. 
I know we have a lot of very weak hoplite units, but to lose to Pontus is next to impossible. I mean, that's an extremely weak army. Alright, let's let him march out a little bit. Yeah, we should have no problem with this army. I have... I think it's just looking at the... Numbers, really. Of what they could do. But not what they will do. Let's speed up the time. Move out like that. See, I know what they're doing. They're getting closer to the retreat line, so if we were to break their units, they can basically get away without us having time to chase them down and inflict higher casualties. I'm going to slowly march in. We're not going to rush this process. There should be no problem with this. I mean, the only thing that can really do a little bit of damage is their ranged units, but as soon as we engage them, it's over. All right, you know, I'm gonna try and lure them in with my cavalry. Because these are all ranged units. So if we can get them stuck in combat, they won't be able to do anything. But I don't want to lose my general either, because that's a lot of them that could be shooting at us. See? They're already shooting. We cannot allow our general to die. I don't want to fight yet. Slowly advance and engage them as they come. If these guys dare route to this embarrassment of an army, I will be very unhappy with my military choices. Chase them down. They are no threat to us. There we go. They're withdrawing on. No, not yet. That's fine. There's still time for them. Oh, look at us just massacring them. That's bad. That is very, very bad. Alright, now let's chase him down. This isn't ideal to have extremely weak units fighting somewhat strong units. Oh, nice. All right, now we're just gonna chase them down. Kill them. Hell. Just do as much damage. And... Finish off the unit. All right, there we go. Yeah, so... It shouldn't have been that bad. I think we should try to invest in some cavalry units. Victory!
There, there, there are the stables. My lord. My lord. Settlement under All right, I think I'm going to end part one right here. And stay tuned for part two, where we will continue fighting this full flag of Macedonian army, finishing off the Brutii, and continuing our invasion into the Roman land. Thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.